Hello friends, my name is Pam and I want to welcome you to my channel, Kibi's Collectibles. If you are new here, I love to thrift for home decor and for interesting items that I can resell in my booth. Please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave me a comment telling me what your favorite find from today's trip was. I'd love to hear from you, so let's get shopping and see what treasures we can find today. This little bud vase was a vintage piece from Japan. The little pup on the front didn't look too happy. It had some chips, so I left this one on the shelf. You know, I was thinking that this was a glass powder jar, and it turned out to be an Avon jar. It had Avon on the bottom and was $1.95. Then I noticed this white bird with a gold beak. It had a sticker on the bottom that said Japan, and this piece was in great condition. Then I saw a shelf full of these corner store porcelain collector's mugs. They had sun-kissed orange, jello, Arm & Hammer, Whitman Sampler, Heinz Sweet Pickles, just to name a few. They were all $1.95 each, and I looked them up and they could sell for about $10 on the average on eBay. This piece is a vintage oil lamp in the style of a genie bottle. It is made by Silburn in Japan. And if you pause the frame, you can see a dragon painted on the front, right under the U.S. Capitol. Unfortunately, it had a lot of damage to the ringed handle. This ceramic silver swan was so sweet, but it also had damage down there on its foot. Now I do love a pottery piece, but this one was just a little too plain for me. Then I looked up and spotted on the top shelf the cutest little hot dog salt or pepper shaker. It was missing its mate, so you know I was on the lookout for that cute little thing. And way in the back of the shelf, yep, back there, I found you. I found this vintage turkey planter. I already have one of these and they make a beautiful fall display. This one is Napco Ware, made in Japan and can possibly sell for up to $20 on eBay. I wish I had checked out that decanter on the right. I thought it looked very lovely. I always like to check out the elephant figurines as there are many elephant collectors out there. This one looked and felt vintage. And the glaze on this piece caught my eye. Here we have a nice stack of Corel Old Town Blue Onion saucers. There were nine saucers and one plate. The saucers could bring in about $20 and the plate could bring in maybe two. I found this beautiful swan planter. It felt like a bisque piece 
and was in great condition, except that it was very dingy and dirty. Now that's a cute little basket. I like the shape of it. Two ninety-five. Hmm, I could pass. I found two more of those corner store collector's mugs that were out of place. I started down the aisle with the artwork and saw this fantastic and rather large pig. It was a ceramic piece and it was painted to look bronze. Now this little pig was in great shape and wouldn't last long in Goodwill. Have you ever watched The Office? Y'all, I am a huge fan and I have seen all of the episodes. And this game caught my eye. I usually don't buy used games or puzzles at Goodwill, so I left it there for the next big fan to pick up. At this Goodwill, they have racks on top of the clothing, and I can always find something interesting up there. Check this out. This is a brass tabletop magnifying glass. I've sold a magnifying glass like this before in my booth, but this one needs a lot of TLC. Do you remember the old lighted mirrors that would fold out and the mirror would spin and you could move the switch for different lighting? And I'm talking about the ones like this one here. Not the fancy styles of today. This lighted mirror, y'all, was $8.95 and it brought back a lot of memories from when I was a teenager. Looky, looky at this honeycomb decoration. I'm not sure of its age, but it is from Big Lots. Do you have a Big Lots discount retail store where you live? I like this planter because of the design on its side. It reminded me of a ram or a bull. Again, hiding in the back were two brass pineapple trinket dishes. I like their look, but are pineapples on trend anymore? Let me know down in the comments. I saw these galvanized salt and pepper shakers. I keep seeing galvanized items, so I'm thinking the farmhouse decor trend is on its way out. What do you think? If you watch Yoso Boho, she recently talked about this style of basket. She called it a butt basket, as you can tell why. I was excited to find one, but this basket felt thin and flimsy to me, so I left it behind. These shell planters were cute, and I think they would sell well in my booth, especially if you have that coastal decor, but I didn't think they had a high enough resale value, especially after seeing the white planter and it only retailed for $6.99. This was someone's DIY piece. This is another pink footed depression glass piece in that cubist style. It was in great condition and the price of $1.95 was pretty good. The first item that I would like to share with you is this ceramic pig. This pig is pretty substantial, y'all. It is about a foot long, 
and I think it would go great in a farmhouse decor if farmhouse is not going out of style. Let me know down below what you think about the farmhouse style. Is it staying or is it on the decline? Next, I picked up the Welch's Grape Juice Mug. Now, there were a lot of these mugs at the store today, but I did pick out the Welch's Grape Juice Mug because I love Welch's Grape Juice and I thought it would be a fun mug to have. I grabbed the turkey planter. Now this turkey planter is vintage and it truly is a beautiful decor piece during the Thanksgiving season. So I'm going to be placing this little turkey planter in my booth during the fall of the year. Check out the cutest little pepper shaker you will ever see. Look at this cutie. I couldn't leave it behind. I did not find its mate but I can use this little adorable dash hound as part of my doggy decor. I decided to pick up this tabletop magnifying glass. This is such a cool piece and it does need a little TLC. Who can resist a honeycomb piece of decor? Y'all, this is so cute. I did not know that it was going to be a large candle when I picked this up but I absolutely love how it looks and I will be using this in my home this Christmas. I forgot to take a picture of this beautiful swan before I took it to my booth to sell. I took some time to clean up this beauty. I threw in a few fake flowers, put it in my booth, and I am certain that it will sell in the spring of the year. That is all that I have for you today, my friends. Thanks for shopping along with me. If you are interested in this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow. And if you would like this video and leave me a comment down below, I would really love to hear from you. Thank you again. And until next time, my friends, bye-bye.